Alongside most big decisions comes two types of responses, those who agree with it. It's a big, it's a big accomplishment. And those who don't. People are sad. People are very sad. In the Hoosier State, the decision that elicited those emotions was made by the state Supreme Court, who removed one of two hurdles to the state's near-total ban on abortion Friday. Ruling the ban does not violate the state's constitution, as some claimed. Abigail Lorenzen with Right to Life of Northeast Indiana is happy with the ruling. We are always so excited when a court rules in favor of defending vulnerable lives. That's what Right to Life of Northeast Indiana does. We help the community defend lives that are vulnerable. There are exceptions included in the ban, which makes opponents like Ken Falk, legal director of the ACLU of Indiana, hopeful. Uh, we're hoping that within the Supreme Court's decision today, there are ways to expand those exceptions in the existing law. However, Lorenzen believes the medical exception to the ban, which protects the life and health of the mother, is too broad. In those medical situations, we can love both mom and baby. We can try to save both mom and baby. A second lawsuit is still on the table, arguing an abortion ban violates Indiana's religious freedom law, which the state Supreme Court will consider. But for Falk, it's an opportunity to keep fighting. We'll have to see what the future brings. But at this point, we're obviously focused on going back to the trial court in the case today and, and trying to proceed. For 21 Alive News, I'm Alex Knoll.